In 2018, while I was visiting the Abu Bakr Gumi market in Kaduna to launch uh, the Trader Money Program, one of our government enterprises uh, programs, I met a gentleman, Jafar Abu Bakr, who at the time was trading in ginger and garlic and was one of about 5,000 or so traders who had just received 10,000 naira, you know, microcredit, of course, for their business in that market. Uh, I'm sure that some of us may remember what Trader Money was. But Trader Money, anyway, is, the, is one of the schemes in our social investment program where we loan small amounts of money to informal traders. But what struck me about what he said especially about how he got uh, to be selected to benefit, was that he said, I just applied. I didn't know anybody. They came here, they captured my data last week, and I got the alert yesterday. And he, there he was showing me the alert on his phone. Stories like Jafar's story had come all too familiar over the years. It's a consistent tune that I hear as I engage beneficiaries of our intervention programs. And I'm sure many of those who work in the field on these intervention programs experience the same sorts of reactions. And this is perhaps for me one of the most satisfying things about the way our social intervention schemes and several of our schemes and interventions on behalf of microcredit, uh, of, of, of MSMEs work. There is that there is a platform that can process applications from potential beneficiaries, pay out credits or other benefits, maintain audible rec or auditable records seamlessly. It's the people and infrastructure you know, that uh, make this happen, that we're here to celebrate today. And those people and infrastructure you heard a bit about already, and I'm sure that when the report is presented, we'll hear even more. This is a journey, as we've heard also, that began as an idea barely six years ago. An idea that we can actually build systems that will serve everybody fairly and justly and bring credibility to government programs, especially government programs that involve handing out cash, giving people money in one shape or form or the other. One of the biggest barriers that was identified was the ability to reach people directly, to capture and digitize their information even if they were illiterate, and process a benefit to them that is transparent to all. The vision set out to solve this problem, and I must say that that bold vision was expressed in the most ambitious social intervention project in Nigeria's recent history. And as we've heard, possibly in Africa, with a series of people-centric programs. For some programs, the everyday Nigerians were young graduates, who would benefit from a direct stipend and employment placement from the government. For others, it will be pupils who, in schools, in public schools, for whom a reliable meal per day would make the difference between staying enrolled in school or skipping school to earn money for that meal. However, a critical sector of the hardworking Nigerians that we try to impact, or that we're looking to impact, were the micro, small, and medium enterprises. This group had been left far behind historically, and the path to reach them was even less figured out. Most of these businesses, of course, as you know, are informal, but they account for close to 50% of our GDP and 76% of our labor force. So this demography, of course, was far too important to ignore. We had to start solving for them. Today, we witness the successes of a long and ambitious journey targeting and impacting MSMEs with interventions. The results, in my view, have far exceeded even what was envisioned. The infrastructure and processes that have been built to achieve this are nothing short of remarkable. People wonder what was done differently this time. One of the key decisions that was made was to give a free hand, that government made, that is, was to make, it was to give a free hand to an institution with a track record the Bank of Industry in this case, as well as a team of competent, experienced Nigerian professionals to understand and solve the problem. So the question was, how do you solve this big problem of getting credit and getting services to millions of people in far-flung areas of Nigeria? 
So we thought the best idea would be to give the problem to professionals to think through and tell us how, how to deal with it. So BOI uh, was that uh, organization that we gave the problem to and a set of uh, very experienced professionals that work there and that are their partners. And today, what we have is BOI's growth platform, Africa's largest infrastructure for direct interventions to MSMEs. A lot of us would know. <laughs> a lot of us would know of the household name, of, uh, some of the programs that have become household names and that have targeted enterprises of different scales. The programs range from the Government em Enterprise and Empowerment Program, JEEP, and it's under that that we have the trader money, farmer money, etc. The World Bank N NG Cares Program, the MSME Survival Fund, the Northeast Rehabilitation Fund, and then several state-based interventions, to name a few. What might not be obvious is the extent of the growth platform's operations the engine and the nationwide field infrastructure that has been responsible for driving these programs credibly and delivering the results in a manner that is direct, that is trackable, and that is transparent. What might not also be obvious is the sheer scale of the impact that has been achieved with these programs. Today, over 4 million micro, small, and medium enterprises have been direct, enterprise, have been, have been direct beneficiaries of over 150 billion naira deployed in the past five years. 57 of these uh, MSMEs are owned by Nigerians below the age of 35 years, and close to 60% of the beneficiaries are women. What is even less glaring is that the team of Nigerian professionals behind this work is largely young, with an average age of about 28, 28 years old. I visited the Growth Platforms Command Center at the Bank of Industry, and what I saw was simply unprecedented. They now have 22,000 agents, as we've heard, living across all local governments in Nigeria and equipped with its proprietary mobile technologies. They receive mandates to capture and digitize businesses eligible for its growing suite of programs. In some cases, these agents or human banks, as we've heard them called, opened the first ever bank account or mobile wallet used by the micro-enterprises. Every detail of each business is trackable centrally at the Bank of Industry, down to biodata, geolocation, uh, images, facial IDs of every micro, small, and medium entrepreneur where applicable. Now, this has been greatly simplified. The profile has greatly simplified the profiling and decision-making processes that have allowed for direct outreach and impact on Nigerian MSMEs at tremendous scale. And this has been done directly with entirely homegrown solutions and an ecosystem of institutions, donor partners, service providers, and technology companies all here in Nigeria. Of course, like every country, Nigeria faces its own peculiar challenges. These challenges are sometimes, or, or these challenges sometimes, beclouded the tremendous progress that is being made across a wide range of sectors and the fact that we are fast moving forward in building homegrown solutions that make the government more directly accountable and uh, beneficial and transparent to its people. I'm delighted to be celebrating another such example that, commend, that commenced with the federal government and has since taken a life of its own. The growth platform, this growth platform that we are uh, uh, launching today, today, serves a broad range of institutions beyond government, supporting them to execute huge programs for the benefit of the Nigerian people. Some of these institutions include the World Bank and the uh, African Development Bank. While what we are witnessing today is impressive, for sure, it should not be surprising. The growth platform is precisely who we are. This is the story of the Nigerian can-do spirit and the entrepreneurial DNA that we carry. This is a shining case study of what uh, President Muhammad Buhari strongly asserted, that Nigerians will solve Nigeria's problems. And this is an example of what we can achieve when we unleash the best of our people, especially our young people, 
on the toughest of our challenges and give them a free hand to deliver results. I must commend the managing director of the Bank of Industry for being the strongest uh, enabler of this work and under whose watch the results uh, have been produced. Specifically, I must applaud the growth platform team at BOI led by Mrs. Tony Adeniji, Executive Director of the bank, with uh, Uzoma Huakba as its Chief uh, Operating Officer. Aptly, Tony and Uzoma are the co-authors of the Aid for Productivity report that we are launching today. As what uh, better people and what better people can tell that story than the individuals uh, in the trenches who created it. They are brought to bear the best of experience and bold thinking the depths of innovation and youth, and a detailed understanding of the Nigerian spirit to build an operation and impact that has become a national pride. Of course, we've heard of the various awards that this uh, growth platform has won uh, in, uh, in the past uh, couple of years. The over 4 million micro, small, and medium enterprises impacted to date, and the several more to come are a direct testament to their hard work. Finally, I must acknowledge the pioneering partners of the growth platform on this journey for aid productivity. Of particular note is the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, who provided the much needed early support to the Bank of Industry to build out this operation and prepare for scale, even when its potential would have been unclear at that time to most people. Thank you for your continued support uh, and encouragement to Nigeria. The Nigerian financial institutions, technology companies, service product providers, and program partners who have given the best of their expertise to this work over the years, we applaud you, and we thank you also for the commitment that has enabled this, uh, that has enabled this growth platform, not just to be built, but to thrive the way that it's been thriving. And then finally, to commend uh, the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade, and Investment and his ministry, for the great work that they've done uh, in the past few years, not just nurturing the uh, Bank of Industry and all these great efforts, but the Survival Fund and the various other intervention programs that have been managed so uh, expertly by the, Bank of Indo uh, by, the Bank, uh, by the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment. Thank you very much. God bless you all, and God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs>